Morning, guys. So my son's asking, uh, hey, can anyone go over this concrete block? And I was like, I can't. Maybe Jeff Kendall Wheat could. Maybe. <laughs> oh, man, it's been a while. Yeah, I bet. Have a good ride. Morning, everyone. If you're new here, my name is Jeff Kendall Weed. Today we're going for a fun little mountain bike ride. I set a super fun challenge for May to post a ride, POV, trail vlog, whatever we call these, each weekday of the month. So far, I've missed one day. And that's because I was busy filming a fancier video that some of you miss. Check this out. Fox just sent me a Marzocchi Z1 fork to try out. I'm thrilled. I haven't ridden a Marzocchi product since, gosh, definitely not since Fox bought the company. Yes, I'll do a full fancy video about this fork too. So stay tuned for that. If you haven't yet, click that little red subscribe button below. That'll super help me out and keep these videos coming to you. Let's go ride. I'd love to find some DNR land a little bit east in the Cascades, maybe out towards Wenatchee or Leavenworth. Might ride the Leavenworth trails, that'd be fun. Been there once before. If you have any good trailhead suggestions, please do drop me a comment below. Oh, this bike feels good on one wheel. One day I'll pull the manual all the way. I've wheelied that bridge, never manuals. Morning. Morning, how are you? Good, how are you doing? Better. Have a good day. Oh, that was wild. I thought the front tire was gonna slide out, not the rear. I'm glad that's how it went. Squid row, my bad. There is quite the view from up here. Lookout Mountain is in the clouds, pretty misty up there. Can't quite see Mount Baker, but I think you can see where the clouds are pushing up over it. And then right down there is Lake Whatcom, which, ex which is huge. And just below me are the tops of trees. Do you guys get pretty stoked on new bike parts? I, you probably do. Usually I get pretty stoked. Sometimes I'm surprisingly like, Ugh, I gotta throw this on. That's my reality though. I'm dealing with bike parts on a daily basis. Yesterday, I was super pumped to put the Marzocchi Z1 on here. Call me vain, but I'm pumped on that red. It was pretty cool. Fox started doing Marzocchi stuff at a slightly lower price point. This fork retails for 700 bucks. So far, pedaling up one hill with it. I'm pretty dang impressed. It feels really nice. Ultimately, I think this fork's gonna find a home in my hardtail where I'm not sending it as big as on the full suspension bike. And then I'll run my 36 Grip 2 up front on this bike. This bike's gonna hang it out a bit further than the hardtail will. This fork's more than enough for the hardtail. This trail is a fun one.
got a little off kilter there. Missed the main line. I don't think I've ever ridden the trail when it's been this dry. It's awesome. Nice to have dry trail conditions. Man, do not need them fenders right now. Man, I hope I remember to turn the camera on because that was fun. Yeah, we're going. Ah, oh, this is so pretty. Oh, I almost landed right on that thing. Hey there, how's it going? Good, thanks. You all right? Nice bike, man. Gosh, that's fun. Oh man. Earning them turns. Kind of felt like cheating riding that trail in such dry conditions. I found a lot of gaps and pumps that in the wet were either too soft or just too slippery to commit to. Or you could just say it's all from that fork I put on last night. You wouldn't be wrong, right? <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and throw a link to that fork and the YouTube description below over to Jensen USA. Anything you get from Jensen will directly help me out. Thanks in advance. Still kind of got the spring set up with the Verdict wet quasi mud tire up front and big fenders front and rear. The next few weeks here are often the wettest of the year coming into June. And then it dries out real fast. It's actually not that sweet to ride here when it's dry. Our dirt really needs that water. Otherwise it just like immediately turns into moon dust. Let's take this show home. So last week we rode this trail, but it was raining. I had a lot of water on the lens.
I think I rode it faster in the mud. <laughs> Funny, I'm actually pretty spent after charging that. I think I was holding my breath. I'm sorry, everyone. Well, unfortunately, I don't think I'll be the only one that goes a little too hot into this one. I'd wager that's my mark on the outside there, coming down to right on the edge. So close, six inches off the main track. Came in with a little too much pepper and just barely, I was like right here, hard pack ends right there. Got to put back as best I could. This one right here. Ah. How's it going? Good, how are you? Good, have a good ride. Mm -hmm. Oh, almost just ate it. Wow.
Yeah. <laughs> oh, dead mouse. Trail's running good now that it's all smoothed out. <laughs> yeah. Oh, thanks. Have a good day, man. God, that trail's running good. Yeah, super smooth. Have a good one. Thank you guys for joining me. It's been another fun trail vlog. Time to shred on home and have some breakfast. Hey, guys. Uh-oh, there's a volunteer in the middle of the jump. <laughs> if you guys like this video, hit that little red subscribe icon. Smile, shred, and have a good day. Okay. Didn't want to get all wonky on the wheelie right in front of the pedestrian. 